Hey guys, it's Jeff Masterson, and if you're a skinny guy, you might be asking the question, what do I need to eat to gain weight? Well, instead of just telling you, I'm going to show you, and I'm going to take you through my kitchen, and we're going to check out some of the things that I've got here. So let me open up the fridge, and we're going to check out what we got in here, and you're going to get some good ideas of what to eat to start gaining muscle and uh, packing on some serious size. So first thing you see here is water. Of course, lots of water is important. Um, just bottled water. I usually just take one out in the morning and I refill it throughout the day, toss it at the end of the day. So, of course, you got your protein. We got steak. We got chicken breast. We've got uh, leftover steak. And we've got cottage cheese. This is a good source of protein, too. It's got uh, what, 14 grams of protein for half a cup. So, that's good to mix with fruit. You know, you got frozen fruit or fresh fruit, you can mix it in, it tastes good. Um, eggs, another good source of protein. Lots of eggs. Eat that every day. Um, what else we got? Oh yeah, we got we got some uh, bell peppers, mushrooms, and onions all chopped up here, ready to make an omelet. So I eat eggs every day. So I just you know I just pre-chop these, package them, and uh, take them out, and I'm ready to make an omelet. So uh, what else we got here? We got spinach. So it's good, you know. You gotta get some fiber in there. You, know, you don't want to just be eating carbs and protein with no fiber. That's, that's not gonna turn out too good. So we got we got some asparagus as well, just to mix in some vegetables. And uh, here we go, flaxseed oil. This is a great source of fat. It's probably one of the best sources of fat that you can uh, put in your diet. It's got the good fat. It's got polyunsaturated fat and monounsaturated fat. So. That's what you want to look for. So let's move up to the freezer. Not much in here, really. I don't really eat a lot out of the freezer. Just mostly we got frozen fruit, we got frozen veggies, and we got backup flaxseed oil. Uh, it stays good when you freeze it. So moving up here, we got potatoes. Potatoes, great uh, carb source. Oh, the oh, oh no, these are great. These are peanuts, but they're not just any peanuts. They are Crab House Nuts by Blue Crab Bay Company. You can see, you can just see how spicy those things are. So if you like spicy stuff, you wanna check those out. Those are delicious. Uh, we got green apples for carbs. Uh, bananas, I eat bananas every day. It's usually my breakfast. A couple bananas and a protein shake uh, mixed with some flaxseed oil. That's a good breakfast. Um, lots of condiments, man. You got all kinds of stuff that you put, you put on chicken, potatoes, um, fish. All this stuff just will spice up your food. Um, Magic Bullet. This thing's awesome. If you don't have one of these, you might want to pick these up. If you're planning on drinking protein shakes, because uh, you can mix in. You know that's why I got the frozen fruit for. You got you mix in some frozen fruit, mix in your protein powder, some water, some ice cubes. Mix it up and uh, makes a really good shake. So, move up to the cabinets up here. See what we got up here. Here is the brown rice. Can't go without brown rice if you want to gain weight. Well, you could, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> uh, what else we got? We got oatmeal. This stuff's good. I just I actually prepackage it. I mean, it's quick enough just to make it, but I take it to work and I'll. Uh, I'll portion everything out and add a little bit of cinnamon in it, so I can just grab and go. And I'll do the same thing with the rice. Usually, I'll cook, I'll cook a week's worth of rice ahead of time and just put it in these little uh, Ziploc containers, throw them in the fridge, and I can grab and go. And up here we got more protein. We got tuna. We got canned tuna. I don't eat a lot of that. Maybe once a week, maybe twice a week at most. I'll eat some, throw some canned tuna in there. Uh, let's move over here, see what we got. Not much in this one. We just got some backup oats. And when you get oats, get, don't get the packaged oats. There's so much sugar and all kinds of crap in there. Get the uh, old-fashioned oats, just oats. That's, that's stuff that's uh, going to help you gain weight without adding too much sugar and stuff. So in this one, we got, we got beans, we got black beans, kidney beans, pinto beans, all kinds of beans. Chicken broth, that's good for... Uh, that's good for cooking your brown rice in. Uh, add some flavor to it. Natural peanut butter. This stuff's good. Um, we got olive oil. Ooh, something fell. Scared me. <laughs> uh, we got olive oil for cooking uh, for, and for uh, 
marinating your chicken in, and also red wine vinegar is good for marinating your chicken in. Just some cooking spray, and I think that's about it. That's all I got in the house right now. Um, oh, we got some protein powder. Get the big old tub of protein powder. So that will make getting your uh, protein for the day much uh, easier if you can just uh, down some protein shakes. And last, this is the little whiteboard I have on my wall. As soon as I run out of things, I just you know, I just chalk it up on the board there and once it gets full, I know it's time to go food shopping. Now I want to show you the seven biggest mistakes that are keeping you skinny and actually preventing you from making explosive muscle gains. Go to www.weightgainmethod.com right now to grab the free report that reveals everything. So go to www.weightgainmethod.com and I'll see you there.